Third way men, third way men, does whatever a great man can. Can he make a comic feed? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Great Man. A video from Great Man. Great Maniac Gava, tis I again. Look, that's that guy you see on the t shirts. <laughs> right, just short blogs now because uh, I'm my own girlfriend's hair around Lisa's. I'm safely ensconced in the loving arms of my woman. Uh, so, you know, I've got no comic books much, books much to show here. I did think about doing like going through one of my boxes and like uh, adding it on to the end of my bloggies, but I didn't have time in the end. And I thought, well, there's no point. I'll do them again when I get home. I'm just lying here on the bed with a, with a pillow, with the camera on a pillow. So, I'm just going to show you um, the comics I read today on the way over. On the way over from Lisa's, this is one of my favourite, because it's so silly, I just love, just I love about comics, especially DC, superheroes battle super gorillas. <laughs> yes, that is just like, that is perfect comic-dom, perfect comic silly -dom. So Superman tackles Titano, or Titano, Batman fights the Beast Bomb, the Flash versus Grodd, and uh, Wonder Woman captured by alien apes. Now, I've, I don't never read a great deal of old Wonder Woman, but I've read a few recently, and it always seems that someone's trying to get them to get her to marry them. I read uh, one of the shark who was a, a shark who'd been like evolutionary turned to become like a, a humanoid, and he tried to get her to marry him. He tried to capture her to get to make her marry him. And this ape, these gorillas have come all the way from I don't know gorilla planet. And they try to get her to marry them as well. Even turn her into an ape at some point. They turn her into a woman gorilla at some point. And uh, she manages to, yeah, outsmart them kind of thing. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> I've not read that many Wonder Women from, from this era. But I'm, it seems to be... The two that I've read recently, they both seem to be trying to get them to, her to marry them. It's, um, yeah, is that what Wonder Woman comics were like? It's, uh, when you look at how some of the other women characters are treated, like uh, Lois Lane and all that, uh, like a simpering and like Lana Lang, all simpering over Superman and like, oh, well, why does he look at other ladies? I thought he married, wanted to marry me and all that kind of nonsense. It's kind of like, yeah, Wonder Woman isn't far off it, apart from she's a, she's a lot more kick-ass. But, uh, they, yeah, she just seemed to have a lot of... Uh, strange alien beings trying to get them, her to marry them. Anyway, uh, the Gorilla Grodd one was quite funny. Gorilla Grodd comes up with uh, some strange radiation that makes everyone adore him. So that was quite a fun story. The, the Batman one was interesting. This, uh, yeah, it was, well, they were talking about bionics. Like, uh, apparently, I don't know if bionics meant something different back in the day, but I've heard two stories recently where bionics has meant... Uh, where well, they've got the the bio, it's the modern, you know, we think bionics is like the six million dollar man. We've got like metal robot parts in his body, and that's what we consider to be bionics. But I don't know if that 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 um, definition was different before, because I've seen two stories mentioned in bionics where bionics has taken the biomechanical properties from animals and somehow transferred it into to ourselves into human beings so like bionics nothing to do with robot arms or metal implants it was just literally or you know or fake limbs that got super strength literally it was the bio uh, properties of other animals being put into human beings so i don't know if that was um yeah whether that that phrase predated what we think of of, of bionics but anyway uh, and the titano was he was um in the in the past superman dabbles with some device that looks into the past and he doesn't realize the other button brings things from the past uh, but anyway actually he brings titano from the past and uh titano keeps destroying like round like spheres like globes he keeps picking up like the daily planet globe picks it up and throws it away the giant bowling ball on a on a signpost he picks it up and throws it away and uh superman realizes that he thinks that it's his coconuts that he had back in the prehistoric time and he keeps picking up these round things finding that not his coconuts that he wanted to eat and he throws them away <laughs> anyway eventually Eventually, Superman uh, catches up with a couple because Titano's got Krypton Vision, hasn't he? But it's like, he kept hitting him with Krypton Vision, but I can't remember what he did to sort of counter his Krypton. I know he wore he wore a lead suit. That's all right. He had a lead suit, but that got melted at one point. I can't remember how he ended up because um, 
Lois Lane was captured by Titan and worn around his neck inside a cage. So she was like, she was, she was like turned into a human locket at some point. Uh, yeah, I can't remember now what happened, but eventually he grabs hold of him and throws him back into the past. I think he, he gets some. I think he gets the coconuts from the past, brings them to the, to the future, or to the present rather. And then uh, while he's distracted eating the coconuts, he throws him back into the past. Yeah, you know, as you do, as you do in super comics. But just that whole concept, I just love the whole concept of this comic book. Superheroes battle super gorillas. <laughs> that is just, that's just a bit of, uh, bit of comic loveliness, a bit of comic silly loveliness. Right, and then I've got uh, a crossover uh, Marvel team up Spider Man and Black Widow. Now, I always thought these were in the, back in the day when I used to read them as a kid, they were always self contained, but no, there seem to have been a lot more like continuation stories than I ever remember. It might just be the ones that I bought or happened to be self contained stories, but this one carries over from another comic, I think, and goes into a different one afterwards. Uh, a pot, no, actually, I think it might be. Just a, I have actually read the one after this before, but because at the end. They both get shot by uh, Nick Fury. But the one that I read previously, like, it explains what happened. But um, Natasha Romanoff, she doesn't remember being Black Widow. Uh, she thinks she's a school teacher, like, with uh, another different name, but the same initials. And uh, every time she gets stressed or duress, she, uh, Black Widow skills come out again. But I think it was something to do with uh, going undercover as a double agent and... And maybe being hypnotised into believing she was this this other woman, so she when she gets questioned, um, they she will you know give away her identity, something something like that. I think it turned out being, but yeah, it was just a um, you know it's a pretty cool uh, Spider Man, uh, Black Widow story. Yeah, just a nice, just a, just a cool read. But that's it. That's all I've read today. And that's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna do on this blog. It's nearly Christmas, as I have to always. It's a tradition. I don't remember when I started doing it, but there's an old um, a song by a band called Slade, and uh, part of the Christmas special. It's a really like popular Christmas song here in the UK. And there's part of it where the Noddy Holder, uh, the singer, shouts out, "It's Christmas!" And every time I come home, when I'm when I'm to Lisa's, well, whenever time I come to Lisa's at Christmas, and I'm not there for the rest of the over the Christmas period, I always have to shout it when I get it, when I come in the door. So I've done that today. I've opened the door, burdened down with packages and whatever that I was carrying. I've gone, "It's Christmas!" So that's it. It's for, for me. It's it's, uh, it's Christmas. It's the 18th. Only a week to go. Wow, only a week to go. Uh, uh, I've got some shopping to do for some for some uh, some some comics. Lisa's going to give me some cash. We're going to go to Croydon, uh, go and check out the new place in Space Shop because it's moved location. Uh, hopefully, I can uh, find some back issues there that I need for my uh, for my runs. So that'd be cool. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's the blog for today. Not got an awful lot more to say. Check out my twelve days of Christmas, man. I'm, it's like it's very most disconcerting. I, mean, I don't get many people watching the blogs, but there's not that many people watching the twelve days of Christmas either, which I'm doing two videos of at the moment, uh, a song version and like a, a comic book kind of version. But yeah, check those out. Also, I had a chat, nice chat last night with Anim Animal Ye Comics. Well, it's not actually any manual comics anymore. He's dropped the comics from the name because he wants to sort of branch out and do other stuff on his channel, which is cool. Uh, I do that as well. I do. I mean, I didn't even start off as a comic channel. So, yeah, I do whatever the heck I please. Everyone should just do whatever the heck they please on their channels. You know, whatever interests you. <laughs> I might do a video. I might just start doing a video of me playing with my beard for the day. It's like, oh, it's my daily play with my beard video. <laughs> what should I do with it today? Let's twiddle it around this way. Yeah, let's do some beard twiddling. I wonder if beard twiddling videos would ever catch off, catch on. <laughs> Maybe I should separate. See if I can turn it into. Yeah, let's make some. Let's make some some uh, fancy designs. If I can. <laughs> no, my beard is just uh, horrible, really. But I don't care. I don't care. It's just, it's not like any style decision. It's just the not wanting to have a shave decision that, that uh, influenced my beard growth. <laughs> right, anyway, I know I got off on that tangent. 
yeah, check out my interview, not interview, just the chat. I don't do interviews with uh, people in the comic community. I just have chats with people in the comic community. And, um, yeah, check that out. And if anyone wants to, I've got my next, I'm going to try and be a bit more uh, one a week kind of thing from now on, rather than, like, I'll try and keep it to the same day as well. Maybe a Saturday because, um, you know, it's a good day with people who aren't busy doing other stuff, hopefully. So, but yeah, I've got one with, um, is it M- MKSI? Is that how his channel's called? M- Mixy? Mixy? I can't remember. He's got, a, he's, got, he's got a number as well. But he's, like, been watching them and he says that he'd like, he'd, he'd like to like, have a chat with me about my comic, his comic books. So I'm, that's going to be the first one in January. And uh, if you'd like to come and chat with me, you know, just share some comic memories with me, then, yeah, get in touch. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Cheers for... Oh, don't forget... Check out my Grey Man shop. Yeah, get yourself some Grey Man merch. It's uh, it's got my beautiful face on it. Going, have a great amazing day, <laughs> which is absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong with my my beautiful face. Let's face it. You know, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm off then. I'm off. To, I'll be back tomorrow. Though. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. Hopefully, I'm going to read a few more comics. I can tell you about what comics I've read. Uh, but until that time. Um, Have a great, amazing day. And most importantly, may all your news be good news. Merry Christmas to Richard, the owner of Zoe and Noodles. Thank you for being a Patreon and for watching my videos and for all the comments you leave. You are truly awesome. I hope you have a gorgeously lovely Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah.